in love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, I really thank God for the body of Christ and those of you on YouTube who are sounding the alarm and, blow, and blowing the trumpet, sounding the trumpet in Zion. Now listen, this is a warning. It's all scripture. And for those of you who don't like scripture, go on and click off now because you're not going to want to hear it. This is very bad news. This is not good news. This is Ezekiel chapter 7. I was inspired to read it after hearing a prophetic word from Pastor Faircloth. Now listen to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very scary. Ezekiel chapter 7. Lord, may the church hear with the Spirit what you are saying to us. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God, unto the land of Israel, an end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all abominations. Now, let me stop there and just interrupt, interrupt with Pat's two cents. When I saw all the devastation that's been going on in Texas, it made me wonder if that was the beginning of sorrows in this country. Verse 4, back to God's word. And mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, an evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee. O thou that dwellest in the land, the time has come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eyes shall not spare neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And you shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth thee. Behold the day, behold it is come. The morning is gone forth, the rod hath blossomed, pride hath budded. Violence is risen up upon a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs, neither shall there be wailing for them. The time has come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goeth to battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Pat love with Pat's two cents interrupt. Just one more moment here. A couple of years ago, I got a word. God said, Prepare for battle. Now I did also hear that God was going to supply the needs of his people. It would be miraculous provision, all kinds of crazy provision, but he will provide. But we must stay in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. That Psalms 91. Okay, back to God's word. Okay, Ezekiel 7 verse 14. 
I think I've already read it, but you can hear it again. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none goeth to battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence, shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of, valleys, of the valleys, all of them mourning every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Let me, call me in 10 minutes. I'm doing a video. Okay, let me read that again. Verse 20. As for the beauty of his ornaments, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them, and I will give it into their hands of the stranger for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place, for the robber shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh, they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and the council from the ancients. The king shall mourn and the prince shall be clothed with desolation. And the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way. And according to their deserts will I judge them. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Be warned, Pastor Two Cents. Be warned.